Hello everyone, my name is Paul Lassard with Hivewire 3D and today we're going to talk about converting your poser clothing for Dawn into Dance Studio clothing for Dawn. So here we have an example of a string bikini and it is conformed to Dawn and I know that many of you have a concern um, in this case, this is using the binary morse or .pmd files for Poser, and getting them into Studio is a concern. So here we're going to just show you quickly that this is in fact conformed to Dawn, and it follows her. So we'll go ahead and do your everyday pose. Let's choose this jumping one right here, and as you can see, it works. So. We'll go ahead and get started, and the first thing you're going to need to do is open up Daz Studio 4.5. <clears throat> and we're going to make sure that you have the proper directories mapped in Daz Studio. So, one of the first things you want to do is make sure that you have the Dawn, the Daz Studio version of Dawn file mapped, as well as the Poser um, version where you saved your clothing mapped. The way we do this is we'll go to the content library tab and you can right click on it. And we'll go down to the content manager. For your DAS Studio, just select the DAS Studio formats, hit add if it's not already mapped. You want to map it to, in this case, your Dawn base for DAS Studio. And you will do the same thing for the poser format. All you do is you click, you select the library you want, the folder you want, and then you hit add and select your, in this case, DAS base for poser, or Dawn base for poser. Hit the runtime and select the folder. Now my path is already chosen, so it's going to leave it there. And then hit accept. So now with both of those um, libraries, in here, what we're going to do is we are going to actually go to File at the top of top left, and we're going to Import. And we're, what you want you to do is go ahead and navigate to your base CR2. In this case, the string bikini. Make sure if you can't see it, you know you can go to Poser Files here. We'll hit Open and it will load in the string bikini. Now the DAS Studio importer does not treat this as a weight map figure but as a legacy figure, but we'll fix that in a second. What it does do for us is that it loads the mesh and more importantly it loads all of the morphs from the PMD. As you can see they all work. You can see it moving in the background. I'll zoom in on that a little bit so you can see it a little better but we have like, uh, let's go with the bottoms loose and you can see this. So you can see the morphs do in fact work. All right, in order to convert this, what we're gonna do is go ahead and zero all our morphs and we are going to load the Daz Studio version of Dawn. So I'm going to go up to my Daz Studio Formats folder. And then we'll go into People, Dawn, and we're going to load her up. Okay. Now, with the string bikini still selected here, I'm going to go to Miscellaneous, and I'm going to hit the Fit To option. Select Dawn. Then you're going to get the auto fit. Daz Studio's auto fit dialog pops up. You can leave it as unsupported as Dawn has no other figures there. And since you've already fit this to Dawn and Poser, it'll work just fine. Go ahead and hit accept. And what it's doing now, it is transferring all of the weights and the rig to your OBJ or your CR2, as it were, that you loaded. But it keeps all of those morphs. It will also load any additional morphs that are on Dawn automatically. In this case, it's just the base, so we have no additional morphs. So what we can do now is 
we're going to go ahead and make sure that this is in fact working correctly. So we're going to select an item in the scene, in this case Dawn, and then we're going to test a couple of poses to make sure this works. Let's go ahead and test this one, and as you can see it's conforming. Now, my clothing object here, this bikini made from Hive, uh, Chris and myself uh, at Hivewire, we're going to go ahead and it was meant to be subdivided. So that's another step. We can cover real fast so that we get some of the smoothing like Dawn is already. So what we're going to do is go ahead and select the string bikini and we are going to right click on the scene tab and then we're going to go down to edit and go down to convert to sub D. Now when we go to this mesh, re mesh resolution, hard to say, <laughs> we're going to see that it's now giving us more multiple options the base which was what we loaded it in as and the high resolution which is what we want so this is the default settings and so that's what I'm going to leave it at um, I might change this to uh, sharp edges and corners um, and that helps with any polygons that are sticking out on the ends and it'll help to uh, maintain those sharp edges that you want all right, so once I have that done, we can test it out by selecting Dawn, and you can go ahead and try out uh, some of the uh, shaping. In this case, we have some breast morphs, so we'll go ahead and show you and the B cup, and as you can see, your morphs all still work, and they follow. Okay, and so yeah, we have a now a working Daz Studio version. Now, all we have left to do is save it. So here we go. We're going to make sure that the string bikini is selected, and that it is still fit to Dawn, which it is. Then we're going to go into the Daz Studio folder in which you want it to be in. And in this case. We want to go ahead and make sure that it is Daz Studio Formats. And we're going to go up to Dawn and Clothing. In this case, String Bikini. Now, I already have a String Bikini, but we'll just label it as number two. We'll go File, Save As, and you want to do Support Asset, Figure Prop. I'm going to click that. I'm going to go ahead and name it just a little two in there. Save it. And then you're going to get the directory is, that it's mapped from, and then the vendor name, product name, and item name. Now, the vendor name is going to be whatever you want it to be. Uh, in this case, we're going to make it Hivewire 3D, because that's who the vendor is. And a product name, I like to call it, I call it String Bikini 2, and I'm just going to, Go ahead and label that. And item name can be anything you want. Um, this is where the morph folder, this also creates a folder in Daz Studio for putting all your morphs in. So in this case, you can name it base, you can name it, I'm going to go ahead and name it bikini. And there might be multiple you know, styles of bikinis later, so all right, we're going to make, go down to the metadata information, set content type, make sure that that is checked, and this is set at least to follower. There are more categories in here. You can get um, really specific with it. You can go in and uh, you know select something like a wardrobe here and, and then choose them, but uh, we're going to go ahead and cancel that. Uh, just at, at minimum, you want it to set to follower. Okay, and you're going to set the compatibility with to Dawn. If you don't have Dawn in this list, you can simply create Dawn by right-clicking, creating a new root ca compatibility base, and then naming it just Dawn. Okay, and then say OK. Since I already have one, I'm just going to make sure that that's selected. It'll show up here. Um, your asset definitions. You want all of these checked because you want the de geometry, the parameters, and the UV definitions. You have also a... Um, file compression option as well as uh, parenting data. Usually this is for smart props. 
This here, since it's a conforming clothing, you don't need that checked. Your uh, uh, compressed files, um, DAS Studio now reads compressed versions of its own files. I'll leave this uncompressed for now and just go ahead and hit accept. And what it's doing is going to save that file and it should show up right there. And of course you can make your cool icon. So now what we're going to do is go to the scene again and select um, the string bikini and I'm going to remove this from the scene because what I want to do is select on and go, once again go to content library and test my new clothing object. Load it up and there you have it. Now this should auto conform to Dawn already. Notice Dawn is still selected and we can test that very very quickly to make sure it auto conformed by going to your poses in your uh, DAS Studio library. We'll test that pose and there she is. And your clothing does in fact work. And that's how easy it is. You now have a working clothing item in DAS Studio. Okay, so until next time, signing off. Happy rendering.